Hello friends, a warm welcome. And in this session, we will be talking about Indian elephants. Indian elephants from the perspective of Indian environment. That is for the both for the prelims examination and special with focus on if you are having Indian foreign service aspirations and also otherwise to make you understand that what is required in terms of taking up key ideas and facts with respect to mammals. So in this series, please continue watching because we are bringing you the best and also I'm sharing with you those hidden ideas which are in fact very much less available and visible at one place. The goal is to make things more sensitive and also correlated with respect to examination. So here we go, Indian elephants at a glance. So we'll be talking about elephants, niche occupancy. So this is the chart which is showing the niche, niche occupancy of elephants. Here is a pic going on, wonderfully shown, amazing picture. It is an Asian elephant and the Asian elephant bull, that's what it is called. It's weighed through swamp next to hawk deer at Kajiranga National Park, Assam. The skull is given. Porbo Skidian skull. Abhi hum janenge, what do you mean by Porbo uh, Skidian skull? Asian elephant skull is also shown here. That's what you can say. Elephant foot. This is elephant foot. It is shown here. Tiptoe gait. That's what we say. Elephant trunks. So please remember that African are having two fingered, which is at the top it is shown. And the Asian one is one fingered. And below is shown trunk elephant teeth. Asian elephant and African elephant. So as I just said, what do you mean by proboscidian? So elephant is the largest land animal. 50 million years ago evolution here. 150 to 300 forms of primitive elephants were there during the period of evolution. Currently three species of elephant persist in Africa and Asia. Proboscidians or the trunk creatures are the large land Mammals with naked, wrinkled, gray skin, enlarged incisors that form tusk and elongated snout. Snout ka matlab, jo soon ki hum baat karte hai. And extra long years, extra large years to aid cooling. And it is an intelligent animal. We will discuss definitely. Hum janenge ki how, why we are calling it an intelligent animal. And it leaving, it is having a lifespan, average lifespan of 60 years or more. Asian elephant is called Elephas Maximus. Literally means the largest elephant. Because it is the biggest bull, it is weighing up to 5,400 kgs. Standing up more than 3.2 meters tall. And African elephant is called Loxodonta africana, which is 3.9 meters tall and weighing up to 6 kg. That means it is much more, uh, not much more, I should say, a little bit more uh, bulky than the Asian one. The Asian cow elephants, me here. Asian cow elephants are weighing 3,300 kg and weighing up to 2.6 meters tall. So, you can say Loxodonta elephant or the African elephant uh, is a different, a bit different from the uh, Asian elephant. So, so this uh, differentiation is by characteristics. What are the characteristics? If you say the difference between the Asian elephant and the African elephant, yes, Asian elephant has a convex back. It's slope kar rahi hai. Uh, or African elephant is in a saddle shape. Mein hai. It, like the way you can sit and ride on it. Dusra Asian uh, elephant has got a smooth trunk with one finger, whereas African elephant uh, is having two trunks. Third, African and male and female normally have tusks, but in case of Asia, it is only male has tusks and not the females. Loxodanta has massive ears, uh, the rough shape of the African continent. Uh, uh, aisa Asian ke case mein nahi hai. Or Loxodanta has four tools on it, four feet. Uh, but elephant's ke case me, they can have four on all feet. So there are basic differences between uh, African and the Asian species. I just wanted to share with you. Now here is a chart showcasing their evolution, evolutionary tree of elephants. This is Asian elephant, Elephas maximus, African savanna elephant, Loxodonta africana, and African forest elephant, Loxodonta cyclotis. So these are the two divisions. That is how it is. You see. Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, and that's how Pleistocene. The different periods are there, and that's how the evolution has been taking place from last 54 million years ago and coming till the present times. Now, this is how it is twin dimmed head, India shaped ears, 
you can see a smooth trunk, convex back. I was talking about this is the convex back and the naked tail with the hair tuft. Now, this is African concave back. Can you see the difference? A rough trunk and it has tusks in both sexes, fan or Africa shaped ears. This is India shaped ears. These are Africa shaped ears. And then even the, you know, uh, the back, that is the most important differentiation. Moving further, it's a very, very important chart which is showing on that how is the zone of contact starting from Himalayas going towards the northeast, east, and then you can see down south in Sri Lanka and then Shiva Lakes, Thorn Forest. And then you have open woodland you have monsoon forests in Burma and then the rest of the East Asia. And then you have going up till Australia, semi-evergreen and evergreen forest. That's how the migration, that's how the, you know, uh, the, the route had been of evolution. See, this is how stages one, stage two and stage three, stage four, stage five. Because, you know, on the basis of the... Uh, animal dung it was made out that how it would have gone from what place to what so let's first talk about diet and foraging in terms of uh, dieting in a diet i would say in terms of uh, size it is a large animal it requires up to 250 kgs of fresh plant material every day uh, it has got large grinding molars it can eat any kind of plant it can have dry grass it can you know accept giraffe except giraffe what is what is you know uh, in, within the reach of giraffe you know it very well rest it can eat anything any kind of coarse dry or uh, you know fresh grass or uh, vegetation and uh, even in the dry season they keep on browsing they keep on moving and they continuously keep on eating and that is how uh, they leave behind you know the they, they they move from one place to another that is why you can say they they do not they are not at one place so that is why they allow the time to regenerate it's a natural cycle and that is how they defecate also continuously as they feed about 16 to 18 times a day they are producing about 100 kg of dung in a day what an important role in the ecosystem when we talk about vocalization and communication they are a rumbles contact co contact communication they are chirping they are communicating infrasonically what I mean to say that when two elephants are talking, you will not be able to hear because human ears cannot detect infrasonic sounds. That means they can contact each other within the four kilometers of area through infrasonic communication, 14 to 24 hertz. Next, in the same distance, they, if they are stomping their feet, then also systemically they can communicate long distance. So this is an amazing thing with respect to advantages and disadvantages you know in in, in uh, order to you know aware their uh, friends and other species about predators or any kind of dangers so this is an example of elephant at madhumalai wildlife sanctuary and similarly at kajiranga park national park are some examples are shown another example is there of elephant cleaning glass before eating at kabini nagar holy national park karnataka another example is of bandipur national park at Karnataka. See, this is what a beautiful example of female elephant and calf feeding in swamp. Social organization of uh, elephants is very important to understand. That's what we talk about. See, here is a hierarchy it is shown. It is adult males and female that family group and it is a larger herd. Adult uh, may not always be the leader. It will be leading, it will be giving chance to the female that is family head, social organization is matriarchal. That's what we say, where the female is the leader, the family group, uh, it leads to larger herds. They can have females of various ages and young immature males. Adult males are typically, they live alone, they are solitary, they uh, they, they do bond, but then in, 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 in the times of reproduction only, uh, the rest of the time, you can say all male groups will be there, but they are very less frequently. But then uh, elephant is a matriarchal animal, Animal societies are usually centered around an older female called matriarch. And this animal leads a family of adult and subadults and calves and young males. Elephants have a fission fusion form of society. When the resources become less, they become nuclear. 
so that everybody can go around everybody can go out everybody can look for more resources and the resources are there they fuse together so matriarchy take lead in the decision making kaha rest karna hai kaha jana hai kaise chalna hai when matriarchy is not around they split into groups and then they, re they remain in touch with the leader through infrastructure communication through touch and uh, you know companionship and also elephants are having an evolutionary advanced system of chemical communication jab apni mucous membranes ko apne mouth mein uchhute hain उनका जो म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन होता है सो टेम्पोरल ग्लैंड जो मेल्स में होते हैं वो वो दैट इज वन एरिया ऑफ सिक्रेशन रेस्ट एरिया आर आल्सो देयर एंड देयर आर डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो एलिफेंट इज एन इंटेलिजेंट एनिमल इट इज नोन फॉर इट्स कन्वेंशनल म्यूजियम मॉडर्न साइंस हैव आल्सो शोन दैट एंड इवन इक्वल टू ह्यूमन बीइंग दैट व्हाट यू कैन से एनी इट दे दे आर seen to be weeping also we have wonderful movies in bollywood in in hindi movies are there in rest of the uh, you know the languages are also movies there where elephants have been shown for example hathi mere sathi and rest of the examples are also there so that is very very important the social ecological and individual memory it is having it is having empathy it can discriminate it can self recognize and even it can recognize death someone passing away this is an amazing thing so elephant family group at cobbard national park it is showing similarly solitary tusker at madumalai wildlife sanctuary it is shown here and then another example is of uh, uh, you know mali juria pair two bachelor males that would say wynard wildlife sanctuary kerala even in karnataka there are wonderful uh, you know dubare tiger dubare elephant reserves are there where you can even go and uh, get an experience of uh, playing and even bathing elephants which i had also and let me tell you it is one of the wonderful experiences so elephants play splashing water elephant trunk if you talk about now this is the trunk picture is shown but again if you are having a zoology optional or if you are having uh, you know uh, veterinary sciences that it becomes more important reproductive strategies when we talk about the elephants live as long as human beings and they have potential average as i told you of 60 to 70 years sexually mature t comes by age of 15 years of age female can give birth by 12 years and gestation period takes 20 to 22 months and the calf is suckling for more than a year now you can understand the value of matriarchal uh, matriarch matriarchal uh, uh, leader now you can understand even that if there is one leader also at the head and there are other females also then the, then the mother can give more time to the to the uh, you know calf and that's how uh, the baby elephant can be more healthy baby elephant can be a more uh, you know uh, what i should say more immune it will get more immunity if it is spending more time with the mother so elephant is polygynous that is more females than males breed and it is one of the most sexually dimorphic animals that means aap keh sakte hain ki there is a evolution by nature and uh, fertilization takes place by different means for example you can say that uh, there will be certain signs there will be certain signals and there will be behavioral phases jinki wajah se lagta hai ki ab mating ka period aa gaya hai aur aap ye bhi keh sakte hain ki uh, asian elephants uh, uh, is not very conclusively showing and african elephants have shown that ओल्डर मेटेरियल्स की प्रेजेंस होने से फैमिली में पूरी की पूरी फैमिली में रिप्रोडक्शन फेस्ट फास्टर और बेटर होता है एज आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू दिस इज हाउ इट इज शोइंग सी इट इज बोथ द प्लेस इट इज देयर इट इज अ यंग फीमेल एलिफेंट्स फॉर एजिंग यंग मेल एलिफेंट्स सो इट्स अ डिफरेंट वे यू कैन सी यंग मेल फाइट मतलब वाला वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एनिमल टेस्ट्स ओइट्रस सी इट इज टेस्टिंग एंड देन See, it is the, it is showing that how elephants mating at Kabini Nagar Holy National Park, Karnataka, and elephant with a newborn calf at Kajiranga National Park. So, elephant uh, there have been it's a cultural significance of elephant. That's what we can say in in case of Indian heritage. Since uh, Harappan civilizations, we have uh, elephant uh, on uh, you know Harappan seals, and otherwise also in our mythology, Lord uh, Ganesha, in fact, is an example, and Lord Brahma. Hindu mythology it is creation of Lord Brahma and out of a broken eggshell uh, that he held in his right hand came eight bull elephant सबसे पहले उनमें से eight elephant सबसे पहले आते हैं आपके अरावत white elephant this elephant is linked with Buddhism also in which uh, uh, you know it is said that the queen mother Maya she had a dream of elephant 
and that is how you know uh, it was believed that she is expecting she like expecting a baby when when uh, when i should say prince siddharth was about to be born so this is an example how culturally from the very beginning elephant have been part of vedas ramayana mahabharat and the uh, one of the earliest texts dealing with elephant is uh, gaja sastram and haste ayurved haste ayurved is talking about protection and welfare of elephants this is the first treatise ever in the world even ar shastra is mentioning about uh, you know gajavahanas gajavanas or elephant reserves so the first ever protected areas in the world especially in india that will be through animal that, that will be through elephants only so elephants have been kept in captivity in india since last 4000 years as i just told you gaja sastram is also talking about it animals have been used in war they have been used for you know agriculture and other purposes and especially in the northeast they have been used for illegal logging for a long long time and uh, elephant task force have been set up now it is a national heritage animal that's what we can say in the present times there are elephant corridors created you please check out elephant corridor that's a job i'm giving to you you please check out the elephant task force you please check out the latest figures of elephants and also its position and also its uh, you know uh, certain key, uh, key points so uh, what we can say that elephant is a wonderful uh, and but also at the same time it is threatened and there is need to take steps for its conservation that is very very important because they're mega herbivore uh, asian elephants may range from 300 to 1000 square kilometers and they come back that is why there is a human wildlife conflict more and more area is being taken up for industries for urbanization and then the this destruction is going to bring stress on elephant habitat so elephant man elephant conflict is biggest threat to elephant today poaching of ivory that is also called hankos because those ivory seals ivories are named for name seals that is also there and uh, steps have been taken as i just told you including by wildlife trust of india asian nature conservation foundation ashoka trust for research in ecology and environment and so on so that is how you can say that number of steps must be taken to preserve its uh, status and also ecosystem otherwise there will be severe issues with us in the coming times so you can say that the uh, you know what i was talking about see an example is here how elephant is uh, uh, you know in a crop field in a sum after removing the ivory that's how it is remaining elephant carcasses are left to rot in satyamangalam tamil nadu another example is shown of those uh, name scales the hankos name seals that I, that we were talking about so so asian elephant is the common name species iucn status is endangered and it has got convex or hump back jaisa maine bola double four behavior i have already discussed it is it can even uh, speak infrasonically and it can enter human corridors it will you know they come back also but that, that there is a huge issue distribution is very important to understand from western ghats to eastern ghats to karnataka tamil nadu kerala and eastern central and southeast india especially in odisha jharkhand and also south bengal and chatisgarh in north india they are found in the tarai bhavar region uttar pradesh and uttarakhand and northeast also they are found near indo nepal or in assam and also near indo nepal border and along the himalayan foot is up to mishmi hills eastern foot plains of assam arunachal pradesh and even up to nagaland further garo hills of meghalaya and khasi hills so it has got deciduous evergreen forest scrubs and foot plains and grassland that is how it is again it is shown here how it is humpback and uh, what is the way to protect it this map is showing the presence you can just have a note and try to understand so as i just told you wonderful information with respect to elephant and also most relevant for the exam because already these questions have been there and i'm sure questions will be coming up again in this context so it is an example number of number of elephant poaching was very high in 1990s in kolagal and satyamangalam in tamil nadu please do look at the location of satyamangalam and that is how you can say that tolerance in india for the wildlife conservation is there but then assam uh, in assam it and also in other states of india elephants have been killed accidentally by train and 
you know somewhere they are poisoned also because they attack paddy fields assam forest department had done a great deal of job by putting orphan elephants back into wild and that has been a great satisfying experience and they were able to go back into the original natural home which were definitely snatched by our uh, you know india uh, i should say males uh, uh, our own uh, i should say actions like the way see for climate change similarly we see for the animals so this is how next topic we'll be taking up odd toad Younglets, don't miss it. We'll be talking about rhino. Smallest is khur. Most common is kiang, and most endangered is rhino. And that is how we'll be taking up. You to the next animal. Please do join us. And also, for any issues, for getting success, we are working silently. We are the foot soldiers of the nation, trying to make a difference with commitment, honesty, integrity, and with a lot of positive hard work. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best.